Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your girl, Megalass. It's used to saying Megalad, somehow, after all these months still. Figure that out. But we are here with another episode one, which, you know, hopefully I've all gotten according to plan. We'll have a lot of episode ones. Not soon, but over the course of this channel. <laughs> um, we're here with a Pokemon Let's Play, because... You know, Pokemon always has that place in my heart. And I figured we'd do a fan game that I've never beaten. And that fan game being Pokemon Uranium. As you see on your screen, of course. Uh, Pokemon Uranium. Uranium, as I like to say. I'm, I don't actually like to say it's Uranium. But we're going to say Uranium just to piss people off. Um, it's just one of those games where like, I would get, always get one or two badges in. I'd be like, game school. And then... I would put it down and never pick it back up and so we're gonna go into this we're gonna enjoy the story and en enrich ourselves in it but this is not your normal see part of me just wants to let's play this and like chill but part of me is just like yo we're nuzlocking because we always nuzlock that's just kind of how it works um fun fact there was originally supposed to be, this was years ago, this is when we fur not the first time with the Pokemon Center, but when I got the Pokemon Center's uh, information like a year ago, no, not a year ago, like two years ago, December 2018, something like that, uh, when I originally got the information, the first project that was supposed to be on the Pokemon Center when I revive it was gonna be a uranium four-way uh co-op with me uh logical rhythm <sighs> i want to remember who i think my and then i think no it wasn't my it was someone else i have the dm deep somewhere but it was going to be a great project and i just never got around to it because people's schedules never lined up or what have you but we're here all these years later by ourselves this time um Ready to rock through the game. Now, like I said, we're gonna be doing a Nuzlocke, but it's not a normal Nuzlocke. Uh, this save data is actually very important that you see right here because this is my friend Piplup's save data. And you gotta be wondering, why do I have Piplup's save data for no reason? The simple reason is this game, the way it is programmed, which is beautifully, by the way, uh, if you have a regular game just to, if you have to download Pokemon Uranium, all you can do is regular mode or Nuzlocke. However, once you've beaten the game once, or it thinks you have because you have a save file, you get all of these options, including randomizer, uh, all these extra difficulty options, as well as challenge mode. But randomizer is what we're here for, because we are doing a randomizer. Um... Which, I guess is kind of weird, since I've never really beaten the game, so I haven't seen all the Pokemon. But I feel like a randomizer will let us see all the Pokemon. Plus, at the same time, random Pokemon are more fun. I don't really know. Alright, so we got Nuzlocke, Dupes Claws, and Shiny Claws are all on. And, of course, randomizer. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. Old School Poison, that's kind of lame. Well, randomizer Pro greatly affects the balance of the game. In spirit of fairness, all online features will be disabled on this save. Sure, you want to play with these settings. We're doing it. Oh, all right. So, who is the professor? It's Professor Bambo, right? But it's not like an old guy. So I'm trying to think of like voices I could do. Who? Wait, hello. Who? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Yeah, he's got a big nose. He sounds like he breathes through it. My name is Bambo. Uh, but if you find it hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. And the kid is by already yawning, just like our old Pokemon Let's Play style. Yawning all the time. This is being recorded at 2am, by the way, because I literally just spent the last two hours anger tilting myself at Overwatch. And I finally just decided to sit, breathe for a second, calm down, and... Now we're here. Your kid was planning for a job, right? Great. What a lo the know that what a the loadout of what you'll be doing? No information needed. I've been here. Been here before. 
don't remember the name of this thing. I think it's like Owl or Outen or something. We humans show this world with creatures known as Pokemon. Or are they mere animals? Pokemon possess tiny powers and remarkable intelligence. People of Pokemon go exist in many ways. Some Pokemon kept as pets, other help us with works, and still others are used in battle by traders such as yourself. But there's still so much we don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Really? I didn't know that fighting was an element. But why do they exist? Are there any types we haven't discovered yet? Uh, yeah, fairy. Oh, I'll tell you more about that on your first day of the job. What do I have? Do I have your first Pokemon now if you fill out this form here? Who are you? Uh... This is way too girly for me. So we're just gonna rock out with this this one right here. How you been all your day? Please tell me. Your name? Mega? Can you fit the last? Oh, you can. Your name is Megalas? Megalas, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. Future is a blank slate. You look at them with your Pokemon are gonna fill it. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Pokemon Let's Plays always make me yawn. Okay, there will be challenges and thrills that are bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a narrator. It's been, it's been a minute with Uranium as well, so if I don't remember things. Also, pretty much after the second gym, the whole game is new to me. So, don't, don't yell at me if I get lost, shall we? Ten years ago, Megalas' family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Oh no, Lucille. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Megalas. The Tandor region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucia worked. As part of their routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Uh, okay, so we need like a mom voice. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Ho oh, ho, yes I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucia. Excellent. If everyone has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Well, hey, old boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that, so... Damn. Shit's exploding. There must be a breach in the reactor. Oh no. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everyone needs to evacuate. Now! Lucille, you have to leave too. Lucille! I feel like that's one of those moments where you say, God damn it! As, like, you run. With Cameron's help, all the scientists- Oh. With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor <sighs> made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempts to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Megalas was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Megalas and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for use of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Megalas' journey began. 
the game really just kind of dumped a bunch of stories, like a bunch of backstory on you. Megalos, come downstairs. You are late. What if I'm not late and you're just early? Do we got a potion? Uh, do we got a potion spot? We do. Poggy wuggy. Alright. Turn off the box. Let's bolt. Let's hit it up. Let's hit up the town. I think the game might be ever too loud, but you know what? We'll see how it goes. Megalas, sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? Huh? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do so much. So could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy Theo, always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Oh my god, that's way too loud. Okay, so I do have to turn that down. That's nice to know. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Alright. How do I... Where's my options? We gotta turn... Music goes away if it's on five. Interesting. Okay, so we'll leave music at ten. Uh, oh wait, is tech speed fast? I didn't even look. Yep, we're fine. Oh wait, no, it's auto run. Alright, I think you're the only person in this town that gives us something. That is still too loud, Jesus. Oh, it's either this, actually no, it's not either this or no sound, hang on. I know how to fix this. Hold on, pause champ. Let's hit you with that. That should work. Hey, wait up. Oh, where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Megalass. I should have just done Mega like I always did. Oh, well. See, now normally I'd like to do a Choose My Starter, but I think with the randomizer, this test doesn't matter, maybe? Oh. <laughs> Hi, if it isn't Megalos, and uh, your friend, Tommy, was it? No, oh, honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, 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 Theo. You're just in time. Today's a very special day for both of you. It's your first day of work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research. Oops, why do I keep yawning? Your job will have you traveling across town or observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help you with the research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. When you get your starters, though, you will take the Pokemon Trader Aptitude Test. Oh, test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. No, 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 don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon Trader you'll be. Different starters are pro are better for, suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get the, I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? All right. If you want to know what's, if you want to know more about what's on the test before we get it, you can talk to my aide. Now, Megalos, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes. So, without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon on the wall, what is your first reaction? Throw a Pokeball at it. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TLs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Um. Oh. If 
if I'm playing a let's play I, hidden power. Hey professor, hey professor, what's a TM anyway? Oh, I'll tell you later. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon will win an all-out battle? Hmm. If they're all fighting each other, depends. Does the Gyarados have Earthquake? Uh, probably the Gliscor. I know this doesn't matter, so that's why I'm actually just trying to think about it. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Exploring the region. No question about it. I'm going to be a Pokemon master. Ain't no one going to stand in my way. I dig it. Spare it, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. All right. Now, normally, I think we would get Electux or the... I think Electux, because we answered... No, we answered Green on two. Mega loss. You seem to be a trader who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You know that the best things in life come to those who wait. For a defensive trader like you. I think this is a random. It just shows Orchinx here. Go ahead and take it, Mega Lass. Chimaconda? What the hell is a Chimaconda? Damn, dude's popping off. Uh, what do we name a Chimaconda? By the way, there's no let layout. There's no, uh, like, party or anything like that that you normally see in a Let's Play. Uh, just because, like, for my style of Let's Plays, like, I like to keep it simple. So it's just base cam. And once I have a green screen, you won't even see all this background. You'll literally just see me, which is tragic, I know, but still. And the game just because like i don't see like it just it's too formal i don't like it that's the end of the discussion chimaconda what are you i'm guessing you're fire poison you're poison definitely um i don't know actually one thing we could do so chimaconda uh in your mail I'm trying to think dude we could do what we did or we're trying to do last time I did a nuts lot or a Pokemon game. We could just name them all after Dang and Rumpa characters since I love Dang and Rumpa so much. Um, let's do that. So who would be Chimaconda? You're not like physically strong. Uh, I feel like you'd be Kiyotaka. I could see Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka. Oh, I also got us all mixed up. Uh. Hey, I'm flying away in. Megalos got their start already. Where do I get mine? Don't analyze your results, dear. Dear. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. <laughs> You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the sense of seed of greatness, the potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young and we can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you. Oh, we get this starter stronger than them. Dude, that's still so loud. Turning that down more. Jesus. Electrics is the best pick. Yeah, spy first Pokemon. Uh, that pops. This doesn't look like a. Oh. Ah, uh, pops! This doesn't look like an Electox. What the? I mean, yes, I've decided to deviate a bit from the standard starter selection process. That's it. You two, enjoy your new Pokemon. Megalas, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. Look, I want to look at what my Pokemon is before I battle. Rival Theo would like to battle. Emperilla. If I remember correctly, isn't that Petrify? I think it's Speed. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool ability. Um, I think that's the evolution of Primeape, right? Because they had. Okay, it's Fire Poison, like I thought. Mild Nature. Looks to be a special attacker. We have Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Wrap. Okay. Pretty neat, pretty basic. Ember. Low kick. That shouldn't do anything because we're poisoned. Yep. 
I think we're an evolved mon based on the fact that we have 25 HP. So, which means that this is the final evolution. But hey, we'll pop off with it. Kiyotaka again, Q50 XP. Should be a nice, juicy level, at least. Even two levels. Look at that. Quam. Rival Theo. Well, but I was supposed to win. But, oh, I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's impossible. G -g good trainers never lose. No, good trainers lose. They just know how to come back from their losses. Uh, I... Uh, <laughs> Please don't cry, Theo. You're gonna get water all over the lab. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Your Pokemon were healed. Good job, Pokemon. That's still a lot of shit. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Well, between your, between your starter and Megalosses, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. No. Why do you have a type advantage? You just sucked. That's the elemental type tribe. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning the master of different type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way! I want a do-over! How come Megalas gets the better starter? Ah, it isn't fair! I'm going home! Yo, the kid sounds like me. Fucking annoying. Somebody pull him out back with a shotgun. Ugh, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect us soon to discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance of Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later. Right, let me look at my Chimaconda or whatever this thing is. Let me actually put... Okay, Ember is up top now. That's all I cared about. Uh, we have Petrify. We already saw that. Alright. Let's go. Think down here is Theo's house, maybe? Yep, there he is. Oh, what did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. You won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. Oh, I swear if you did anything to hurt him. No, your son's just a little bitch. Hate to break it to you, champ. Oh, so that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter, and you beat him in a battle. Hmm, I see. That explains it, Boo. Oh, a harsh lesson, to be sure. But losing is much a part of being a pop trainer as winning. He is his heart set on this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still, crying won't solve anything. There's something he has to learn. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. Ooh, I've got a turret. Yeah... Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. Megalas got the better start in me. Now I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down, so try to be strong for yourself, okay? Megalas, please be patient with my son. He's a little bitch. Ooh, he looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot Megalas. Theo, I have something for the both of you. Uh, like a pleasant? Yes, exactly. Megalas, your father Kellen sent me these and told him to get to bother you when your journey begins. When you began your journeys, whatever, I sure it will come in useful. A Pokepod. A Pokepod? What's that? It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. Ooh. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool. <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Megalass. Doug, didn't I actually just take you and pound you into the fucking dirt? Didn't I actually just 
body you. Literally sent you home crying. Little bitch. We'll talk about the dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly, just like my turrets. Megalas, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving too. I won't see you with Theo again for some time. Ooh. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant, Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. You know, Lucille, your dead fucking mother? Dog, how are you just gonna bring that up all casual? Best of luck on your journey, Megalas. Ooh. Dog, I'm gonna beat your son's ass again just to flex on you. That's not the edge of town. Yeah. Oh. Hi right there, Megalas. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to give your first lesson as Pokemon trainer and field research aid. Now watch closely. Wild Pokemon you probably already know and have a tall grass, so that's not the only place you can also find them in caves of water. <laughs> Cities if you know where to walk. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. By the way, anyone who tries to tell me I'm yawning because it's 2 o'clock in the morning? No, I just always yawn whenever I record Pokemon. I don't know why. Like, it's just, it's involuntary. I simply take a field, stops, and, and... Look, it's a wild chin monk. They're very common around here. Hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Raptorch. This little guy was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taking a shine to me, so I'd rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon that we get easier to catch. Raptorch, you scratch. <laughs> now that it's weakened, now's my chance to catch it. Pokeball, go. And that's how it's done. Now, Chimok are fairly easy, but your Shadow and Counter Pokemon are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Ah, uh, but I'll show you. You got the hang of it before too long. Like the last Theo, these are for you. And the Nuzlocke has. Oh, it's just a Pokedex. That Pokedex is a cyclopedia that automatically updates itself whenever you encounter and catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. There's the Pokeballs. Now the Nuzlocke has begun. Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. What's that thing the kids always say? Gotta catch them all. If you run out, you can pick up some more in an 8 Pokemon. Milky Town doesn't have one of those, but there's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. So with that said, your lesson is now over. Oh, but you two have Pokeballs, don't you? Here, let me input my number. Don't. Bambo, I'm gonna need you to shut up and let me move. I'm gonna need you to let me ride. You can give me a call anytime, and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. That said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. Ten years later, let me guess. Theo's going to speak now? Yep. Oh, Megalas, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still going to be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. Alright, so we are 28 minutes into this right now, so I'm going to get this encounter, and route one encounter, how the hell am I supposed to weaken this, it's also just a little bee, it's a little baby bee, uh, let's chuck a pokeball at it, let's just chuck a pokeball at it and hope, I wonder how everything is randomized, if it's relative to strength or if I can just truly catch anything. Listen, I don't want to kill you, tri Trickwee. Alright, I'm hitting it with a wrap. If it dies, so be it. If it dies, so be it. Oh, it can take another wrap. That thing's swallowing it. That thing is swallowing it. See... I already have a name for this as well. It's just I'm kind of worried because there's only, like, if we get another bug type, then I'm wasting our one. Actually, no, I could just name all of our bug types going to and just be lazy. Who knows? Doug, what? Well, we're not getting a Route 1 encounter at this rate because, jeez louise, this thing is taking all of our Pokeballs for some reason.
This is our fourth ball we're throwing at this thing. Jesus. Oh my god, that's still so loud in my ears. Check please add up his dev of the Pokedex. Shock Bug Pokemon. With these are small and bony, Trickwee is very hyperactive and loves nothing better than sneaking up behind trainers and scaring them. Would you like to give a nickname to Trickwee? Yes, I would. Your name is Gonta. Gonta. Because you look like a Gonta to me. Now, part of me kind of wants to try to get around one encounter. But at the same time, we only have one Pokeball. But at the same time, I doubt I'm making it through this woods without getting an encounter, so I think I kind of just had to risk it for the biscuit. Unless this is a Pokeball. It's a potion. Let's see. No, you're a trainer. Alright, we're gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. We got one Pokeball. Let's see what we encounter. A Tofering. I don't know what you are, but we're gonna try to catch you. Petrify. Intimidate. Nice. Means I'm gonna hit you with a powerful scratch. Oh, that does no damage. You can eat up a few of those. Perfect, perfect. But yeah, these episodes, like in comparison to like games like The Last of Us, like those episodes I try to shoot for like 45 minutes to an hour. These episodes for Pokemon, like they're probably not gonna be longer than 30 minutes unless I'm in a gym or something, or it's an episode like this where you're at like 31 minutes. So. We're vibing. Unfortunately, could not catch the Tofarang. Very sad. I'll probably off screen just grind Kiyotaka and Gonta up to level 10. Because it'd be like that. Level 10s kind of sort of are, are always necessary. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode 1. You know, we're vibing, chilling, doing our thing, schmoving as they say. Uh, if you did, make sure to like button all that stuff you already know how to do and love. And don't forget to tune in this Friday for episode number three, I think, we're already on, of Last of Us. Because I'm really enjoying Last of Us right now. And I'm also enjoying this, so. Also, I've been streaming a bunch lately, so make sure you're checking out the Twitch. It's in the link in the description. Twitch.tv slash Michael Now, actually, wrapping it up, see y'all later.